This video is brought to you by Lexolar. Understanding new energies with teaching systems and training systems for school, technical training and further training. And the YouTube channel Innovative Technology and Energy Transition. Photovoltaic systems, PV systems for short, are the most important renewable energy source in Germany alongside wind power. 2020 45.1 terawatt hours of PV electricity was generated in Germany, which is around 9% of the total electricity generation. The biggest criticism of PV energy is its heavy dependence on weather, which is not always sunny in Germany, and the resulting strain on the electricity grid. By the end of this video, you will have understood to what extent this criticism is justified and what can be done about it. You will learn how a PV system is constructed and how it works. In addition, we will clarify the question for whom it is worthwhile to have your own PV system. First, let's take a look at the structure of a PV system using the example of a typical system on a single family house. The most important part of the PV system is the PV module itself, which is mounted on the roof. The more accurately the roof is orientated towards the south, the better. Usually, several modules are used which are connected either in parallel or in series. Each module generates a DC voltage as soon as a certain amount of light shines on it. The second part of the PV system is the inverter, which is often located in the basement or in another protected place. Depending on the circuit, the modules are connected to the inverter with one or more cables. In larger PV systems, several inverters are used. The inverter is necessary to feed the direct current of the PV module into the 50 or 60 Hz AC grid in the house. Let us now turn to the function of the system. The PV module is usually made of silicon, which is a semiconductor. The so-called photoelectric effect is used to generate energy. Simply explained, this photoelectric effect means that in certain semiconductor materials, the impact of photons causes a voltage to be applied to the material which in turn leads to a current flow via a connected consumer. This energy is harnessed by the PV system. Here is something from the category of useless knowledge on the side. Albert Einstein received the Nobel Prize for the scientific description of this photoelectric effect, not as many think for his world famous theory of relativity. You can find more interesting videos like this here on the YouTube channel Innovative Technology and Energy Transition. You want to understand new energies or teach them to others with teaching systems and training systems for school, technical training and further training? Then check out the LexSolar homepage now.